Well, half-time, an exhilarating match in the Barclays Premier League, and Chelsea lead at the interval thanks to Samuel Eto'o's poaching ability. And look at this, the shirt swap at half-time. Brendan, um, at half-time, Mamadou um, approached um, Eto'o and, and swapped shirts with him. It's not a, a major crime, but does that show a little bit too much admiration and respect for a rival that you're playing against for another half? Well, one, I didn't know that, and two, thanks for telling me, because <laughs> I don't like that. Is it something you're going to raise with him? I will do now. <laughs> so well done. Don't be off Christ right now. <laughs> See you later. Bye. And Albion, after a bright start, find themselves a goal down and a man down going into half time. Why didn't you wave and hit the meat ball? You need to go away. Check the pole. Check the pole for us. And the record. Next time, next time, next time, keep me away from him. Away now, away now. Master, you could also kill us. Away. Yes. You go away, he's already been. So I can't wait. So if I can't talk, the pole can't go. I done nothing. I complained, of course I complained, but I think as a manager I have every right. I came to him, first straight, he's avoiding me, he starts to go. I don't like it. I think as a manager, I, I can talk if I'm polite. And the reason why you had to have the conversation there, of course, is that you're heading off the other side of, of the ground into the changing room outside. That's clever, yeah. That's, that's, so that's it's the yeah, only it, chance you, you should have. be my lawyer, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Message for the best football supporters in the world. We need a 12th man here. Where are you? Where are you? It's a scrappy goal that's given Spurs their lead. And what's going on here with these Spurs players? Hugo Lloris and Son having to be kept apart from each other. Absolutely fuming as there's dissent within the ranks as the Tottenham players go off at half-time. You wouldn't think they were winning, would you? But they're leading here. The half-time whistle goes and a lot to reflect upon. The side that are struggling are certainly not struggling here. The leaders are three goals behind and in their unlucky grey shirts, Manchester United are well behind. Well, welcome back to the Dell. Manchester United have uh, tossed their grey shirts into the laundry basket in the away dressing room and have got permission to play the second half in blue and white. Officially, we're told, it's because the United players couldn't uh, spot each other well enough in the uh, grey shirts. Sir Alex had basically been told by Gail that you, the, the colours that you can spot each other uh, most easily in, that grey was the worst possible in terms of the fan in, fans in the background. So he had it in his head that basically the players couldn't see each other as much because of this kit, because he believed in obviously his coaching staff and Gail was our eye coach. And we had a full set of shirts ready to come on at our time. You don't take a different set of coloured shirts to a game unless you're thinking there's a problem with it. So he, he did have this in his head already, but like, admittedly, it didn't come across very well. And it's time to change shirts already, it seems. Is that in anticipation from Santos that he's not playing the whole game? Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure. Might have been that. Yeah. The swap of a shirt has nothing to do with our poor performance. What I don't like and what uh, will not happen again. He changed his side, reshuffled the front three, but no change to Liverpool's fortunes in front of goal. The manager's having a set to in the tunnel. You know, when we come to these places, you know, we are allowed to actually fight. We are allowed to actually try and win. That's all it was. You Not know? usually the managers, though. No, no, no. We just a couple of things. I said nothing, absolutely nothing that should be out the normal. It's just two managers fighting for their teams, wanting to win a game. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, but that's, if, if he's not talking about it, I will not talk about it. So as easy as that. I didn't start it, but it's it's not nothing. Uh, all good. Well, we'll show you the whole dressing room right now. It's on the pitch. <laughs> uh, Phil Brown not allowing his side to go into the comfort of the dressing room. What's that all about, Phil? Now, unless you're seeing exactly what goes on, he's an honestly, angry man. Honestly, Phil, does this have any effect? Well, it's maybe he's just trying something different. Yeah. It, it could just be saying. Hey, you've just embarrassed yourselves. You'll sit out here and I'll embarrass you lot now. <laughs> They've only lost once away from Elmhorn I know, but it's something different. Uh, and by the way, the Hull City players are now back on their feet. 
uh, and they are going to go off for their cup of tea by the looks of it. Uh, I tell you what, nobody walking close to Phil Brown. Do you notice that? He is a man alone and the rest of them are giving him an incredibly wide berth.